Vera, straight sets victory today, one hour, 16 minutes. You won 10 of the last 11 games out there. So a, a clinical performance. Did it feel like you're on the practice courts out there? or? Uh, well, I think it always looks a bit uh, easier from the side. You know, Aveta is a great player and she deserved to be there in the fourth round. She, she's she got some uh, great matches. Uh, and I think, you know, I'm really happy the way I was able to turn it around. I was I was down 4-2 in the first set, but then I was uh, able to, to step up and play a little bit more aggressive, play my game, and uh, I'm really happy that it worked. Well, Petra Kvitova up next. How, you, how do you feel coming up against the Czech player? Uh, well, you know, I played uh, two Czech girls in my in the past uh, past matches, and both were lefty. And now I got a, another lefty, and also from Czech. So it's going to be, you know, definitely a tough challenge. I, I think Petra improved uh, a lot over the last uh, year, and uh, you know, she's very aggressive and uh, young player. So. We will see, you know, but I am um, always believe in myself and I think, you know, I just go out there and I will try to fight for every point and then we will see what's going to happen. Well, she's been a bit inconsistent in the last couple of games, so many unforced errors and the rest of it. How are you going to play against her? Are you going to try and exploit it? Or? Well, you know, she just makes as many unforced errors as she makes winners, you know. You just try to to hang in there. Like I said, she's very, very aggressive. It's her game, you know. There are a lot of different players on the tour and they, they all got different games and... All, all you gotta do is just try to to play your your own game and uh, fight for every point. That's it. Well, you've got the next match in in two days now. Uh, Petra, she's going to be watching TV, watching a couple of movies, just relaxing. What does the world number two uh, do in, uh, tomorrow and now before the match? Um, a little bit of practice, a little bit of uh, recovery, some massage. I uh, will watch some mo- movies. I will try to read some books to do my studying, you know, and um, yeah, all, all the all these things, and that's about it. Well, tell us about the study. How's it going? <laughs> uh, slow. <laughs> I wish uh, I could be better at it, you know. I really love studying and uh, I'm studying at the Diplomatic Academy, a faculty of international economic relations and I actually it's um, winter exams time and I'm here in Australia actually missing it so I will have to catch up when I go back home but uh, I definitely have to do some reading and um, uh, work on my thesis as well and uh, I'm writing a thesis and uh, I haven't touched it in two weeks already and I'm really thinking about putting my head into it uh, tomorrow I have a day off so that will be a good day to start it again. Well you've got so much on your plate you've just done about half an hour of media yeah. um, does that play on your mind not play on your mind but does it affect your recovery I mean you've only played an hour out there today but yeah, it's uh, still quite demanding on your body because you have to come early in the morning, you do your warm-up of the court, then you do your warm-up on the court, then you wait for your match, you you do another warm-up before you go on the, actually on the court, then uh, you play your match, you have to uh, come off the court, you do your cool-down stretch, you know, it's still quite... Uh, uh, demanding but um, you know it's part of the job that's what uh, that's what I enjoy that's part of uh, myself being a tennis player and uh, it is great but I also uh, have enough experience so I just try to uh, prepare myself the best I can for the next match and in between all of that you're thinking about your thesis as well <laughs> yes I do and I think it does help me a little bit you know it uh, takes your head away from the tennis court it's it is actually the time where you focused on something else besides the the tennis ball and uh, it is it is good it, it helps me because I, I like to keep my head busy just quickly what's the title of your thesis the title um, oh I'll try to translate it actually um, sport as an um, uh, how, how to say it um, sport is a uh, factor of uh, increasing the competitiveness of uh, Russia on, on the international markets. Okay. Uh, something like this. I try to. I will try to work on the translation on that one. Well, certainly something to wait for from Vera Zvonarevi. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.